just like this. It's very good. Let's make a good emergence profile. Okay, the third time we fabricated actually from here, actually from here, from the distal was not working out very good. Our model was good, but in the try, the patient's mouth is not fitting. The doctor did this one. It's a failure again. Now, third one, we change it. So now it's much better. Okay, six implant is posterior, it's extremely thin with the fascia. And also, previous we fabricated and temporary PMMA. And then try in the patient's mouth. Okay, so now we're going to do the opaque and the build up porcelain and then fabricate it three unit and six unit interior case for finish soon. So three different types of implants. Number three is Keystone YWD, which is using the pink screwdriver number five biomat 3i 4.1 number seven using the Astra EV 4.2 number 12 Astra EV 3.6 now this is five implants at three different types so we have to use the angle screw too which is number five, number seven, number twelve. Having a really hard time to get the the finer the finish work, especially underneath the implant site. We're trying to do this manually. I have to do it because milling machine cannot do it. So it's very, very tricky trying to open it up to seed it all the way down okay so finally we did it here then match it and they're using the um, three different screwdriver okay so the game is planned as here and um, trying wax trying do we set the information between the tissue and the bite and this is very imperative the option is very important to set the tissue height and the incisor length incisor position so i mark it with a here with a, another pencil and a midline here which is a little bit off definitely and another problem is this is slant it's like this slant right here is the i have to make the more room and then maybe i cannot get certain area a little bit more open probably here anyway this is a guideline and uh, this by the way this is a conversion this is guideline and then uh, we can try to see how much we can open that area like I said here is the lack of room so we're trying to open it up and then make the K9 to K9 sit better horizontally and um, trying to this is the uh, this line will be the tissue so I'm trying to illuminate the The tissue probably FP1 is better this one from anterior okay because that was too long check the bite make sure the ore and then this panic here get the room Change the angle screw channel here. Anyway, it's very complicated. 
Ah, so we're going to put down the uh, scan and the design that we can see. This is a hour behind the story. It's very tough case. It's really thin five implant, which is a great idea. Thank you. So after I took it out and then this is the after cementations. It's very cool underneath. Now oh, this is the primer. So put the tissue just like this. Scrape it in. Yep, so they can do with a plus underneath. Okay, thanks for watching. After cementations, has a really solid the occlusion contact. It's very good in its color. It is very thin conclusion. Same things I all the time check the with uh, gauge with uh, seven millimeter. It's very very thin thing. The position is like that. So patient community. And the lower looks like a hybrid case. This is the finals.
Whereas the final case, about six implants both sides, and a huge panic, saying things make really thin. So basically we try with um, PMMA in the patient's mouth to get the, the shape and contour. And um, we had a little bit issues or kind of back and forth types of the the frame design. The finally we made it and um, this is a finish with a ceramic. It's like this. It's very good. Let's make the good emergence profiles. It looks like the teeth. Okay. It now looks like regular zirconia full mouth cases. This is so special. Just start to pay more. You see these, these two centrals, central and the lateral. Same thing with a good golden proportion of the tooth, like here. And the base color is there, but we create it as aesthetic as possible and then we follow the natural tooth color. It's not like the shade tap, B1, A1, which is very ugly. If I make that one, that's the differences. So the differences is here's a ceramic from chrome cobalt, and exceptionally thin, and then we fabricated porcelain. As so I know a lot of people using here as a composite, but totally different because it's hard to do it, and then they cannot make adaptation from the tissue and just like this. It's very high skill level require. Okay, six unit. And then three unit all the time made um, good retention. And um, also protect this monolithic, the top of the line. So this is the what we see and then deliver to doctors and then one piece to, to the doctor's office. And then after take it out. Just make sure the all screw down and take it out. Otherwise, doctor will get a problem. Especially after we cement it, just make sure all screw have to be down and then screw up, screw screw up like this. Okay. So I'm going to take it out the crowns. this can you believe this this is exceptionally thin and uh, we're just touching only here you see it's more the, the reason is sometimes doctor cannot put the anterior reason that's why as far as we all the time recommend this chrome cobalt ceramic it's kind of really expensive but look at this. This looks like this, right? This is our goal. Try to make this. Look at this. Right? Okay, so now we're going to cement. Same as usual. It's very, very thin. Okay, it's coming soon. Thanks for watching.